so it's approaching the end of the month today and I found a huge dust spot on my DSL camera sensor so actually we don't have any camera stores out in Pleasanton so I found this store out in Berkeley and uh, they couldn't fix it for me today because my battery was too low so now we're just walking around open Chinatown here get some groceries and stuff because it's cheaper here than the valley <laughs> gonna have to come here again tomorrow I have to go to San Francisco tomorrow, so we're gonna pass by Berkeley again with a fully charged battery. Holy shit, I'm at like San Francisco Pride, a civic center. Boy, look how crowded it is here. Wow. All right, now I have to go find my friends in this giant crowd. This is gonna be really hard work. <laughs> there was a lot of music playing at Pride, so I didn't record any video out of fear of a YouTube copyright strike. But anyways, um, I took a lot of phone photos. I would have brought my DSLR, but it was at the shop in Berkeley getting cleaned and... <clears throat> And due to the recent events in Orlando, security were very strict this year and they had bag restrictions and stuff, so I couldn't, I would have not brought it anyways. Anyways, I met up with my friend Alice and Lily, you'll see them in the photos in the slideshow here. There was a ton of people at the event, there was music, dancing, it was really fun and really great, but we only spent a little bit of time there. Then later we went shopping at the Westfield Mall where I got a new dress, I will show you guys in a photo in the slideshow later and also in a video clip later in this video so you guys can get a better look at it but anyways we all had a lot of fun that day and it was such a wonderful event meeting everyone meeting up with my friends and seeing everyone just being happy and enjoying life if you ever have a chance to visit pride i would definitely recommend you at least go once because it's really fun and really exciting so, um, I'm done with Pride. My friend Alice already headed home. Uh, probably, I'm, yeah, I'm planning on putting the photos I shot today in the video, so you probably will see them, but, um, there was too much music and stuff playing in the background at, uh, the celebration, so I'm not gonna, I didn't shoot any video, obviously. I'm waiting for the train right now. Um, I went shopping. I went to, like, wherever, 21. Um, Got a new dress, I'll show you guys after this. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much just waiting for the bike. They already had it back. <laughs> Ended up having to ditch one of my friends because she and her friends had a booth at a celebration, but my friend uh, Alice was like getting bored and stuff, so we actually went shopping instead. <laughs> Fun day, tiring day. I've been walking for like, um, my phone says I've been walking three hours and that's not counting my breaks, so. Hard as heck. Uh, time to go home. So here is a maxi dress I got at Forever 21 in San Francisco. It was one of my first black dresses. I tend to buy pink or really light color fabrics, but I really love this pattern. I felt it was really pretty, and well, it's a maxi dress, and I really, I really loved it. I guess you can't really say it's not pink because it's got pink flowers on it, but it, it is a little darker than the dresses I usually buy. This is like my new favorite dress. Guess what guys? I am out in Berkeley, California. <laughs> <coughs> I just got my camera sensor clean because it was pretty dirty, so um... There's a store called Looking Glass Photography here in Berkeley and it's also a photo lab and store so I came here to get my uh, camera clean today. I'm just picking it up. I dropped it in a few days ago. They have a turnaround time of about well, like three days. Okay, let me switch my tripod um, hand because uh, anyways, this is the 
Um, Berkeley uh, City Municipal uh, Fishing Pier, apparently due to like structural um, integrity issues, the pier is closed. Wow, I, I actually went on the pier before, so. You can see it's windy as fuck. I probably should not have worn that. I am. <laughs> I'm regretting that a little bit right now. Um, did bring leggings, but uh, I'm too lazy to go change into it. So, yeah, Berkeley Municipal Pier. Windy as heck. Out in Berkeley, California. Taking photos, so not much I could take photos of now because the pier is closed. And I'll show you. So yeah, I'm using my new mini tripod for video blogging. I don't know how stable it is, how stable it is it's making this, but there you go, you can read that. Can't really see my screen, it's so bright out here, but um, out in the fog over there is uh, Yerba Buena Island, Treasure Island, and you'll probably see San Francisco out there, along with the Bay Bridge. know how stable this tripod will make my video but hopefully it'll make it a bit more stable than my handheld videos. I mean I, I'm still hand holding it but now it's on a tripod I mean a bit more ergonomic. <sighs> Just take a look at the wind here. I think I'm gonna go head back to my car. My hair is like a mess right now. Look, there's a sundial here too. I think it's pretty accurate. It actually says three o'clock right now, although it is four, but I think it's daylight savings time maybe. Obviously a clock like this probably won't factor that in, but um yeah, sundial clock. It's like 315 right now. Let me check my watch. Yeah. Okay, my watch is 425. This um this shows 315-ish, I'm guessing. <laughs> but it's probably daylight savings. So let's walk around this. Whoa. Look at that, pretty interesting, right?
guys. I know I have real shit lighting in here, but um, anyways, I don't know if you know. <sighs> Remember my past video blog? I'll show you my <clears throat> Nikkor TM16 flashlight. And this is a 4000 lumen, like super bright flash. I don't know if you watched my Tahoe video blogs or my little demo on the flashlight, but this is really, really good flashlight. Um, so, anyways, this is how I got to know Nightcore. Um, last year when I went to CES, I saw their stand at, um, if you guys don't know what it is, uh, CES is a consumer electronics show and they have it in Shanghai and Vegas. Vegas was the one I went to. And I saw the Chinese company Nightcore and wow, did they have a really good flashlights. So they got me hooked. So here's my newest addition to my Nightcore collection, the EC4S. This actually came out a while back. I don't have the white version. This is the normal version. Got the white version because I had a hot spot, which I was trying to go away from the TM16, which I actually got diffusers for. I mean, no, oh, there were like um, studio light diffusers, but um, either way, even when they first rumored the EC4S, I said I'm in like drooling all over. They said it was gonna be like 2,000 lumens or something last year. But it turned out it's 2,150 lumens in like such a compact size. I think I have some allergies, so don't mind that. Um. So yeah, tiny and and what I like about the flashlight size is that uh, this is really easy to um. Let's see. Uh, put on filters and diffusers. I know Nikkor makes them, so yeah, this will be good for my photography too. As you know, I go into the woods a lot. Anyway, I bought this in a. Uh, bundle here's ec4s and um this right here is a usb charger my other one plugs into um a 120 or 220 volt ac outlet so it's not good for on the go this is a i think this is nightcore's um new um 20 charger which runs off a of usb power I do have a video planned in the future teaching you how to um, power things um, off the grid or sort of off the grid. I have a video planned for that. But anyways, one key thing is USB power because USB is your friend for off the grid um, powering for a small electronics. So yeah, I'm testing the charger right now which can also be used to simultaneously charge um, lithium ion batteries along with uh, another cell phone device or something um i already have a micro usb cable so i'm not using the one that came with it um either way this pack also came with uh two of these batteries but the but the company that i got the bundle from has it back ordered so i have to wait a few days for that but luckily the bundle i got with a tm16 i could just borrow two of the batteries out of that for this so is this the same batteries um comes with a holster and wrist strap and I am uh I don't think I've shown you guys the IKEA lamp I got when I went to IKEA the other day but that's what I'm using to shoot this video. I know the lighting is like so harsh. Why don't I show you my IKEA lamp? There it is. <laughs> IKEA lamp. Alright, why don't I show you how bright this uh flashlight is now? Alright. Well, it's not really dark in my room yet, but, um... Okay, let's show you the two lumen mode. That's the two lumen mode. Not too bright, you gotta see it, but, um... Alright, that's the two lumen mode. Uh, let's take it up to the full 2,120 lumens. Yeah, see how bright that is now? <laughs> I know there's a slight hot spot on this one, but I think I'm gonna get a few diffusers for this, so it's a good flashlight. I mean, hot spot isn't too bad. Will be great for close up photography. Super bright, and I'm just gonna cycle through the modes now. What? Well, not that you could really see because this camera is adjusting. I think this is 80 lumens. 400 lumens, 1,000 something lumens, and two th and the full 2,000 something lumens. 
yeah, this camera is adjusting, so I don't think you could really <laughs> see, but, um, yeah, really cool flashlight. Let me get my video light back on and turn off this flashlight. <laughs> really cool. Compact in size 2 of this camera will just focus the stamp laser system. Still can't focus sometimes. On this new uh, Nexus 6P is what I'm using right now. It's got a laser autofocus system, which doesn't always work that well, actually. <laughs> and there's my Relic Puma pouch. I'm pretty sure you if follow me on here. You've seen this in a previous video blog. Oh my gosh, I love this cute stuff like this. Alright. <laughs> So I wanted to show you, um, I'll obviously be doing a flashlight test overview for this um, sometime in the near future after I've used it for a while, so make sure that you look, watch out for that, and if you enjoyed this video, um, yeah, please don't forget to like this video, uh, give it a comment, and subscribe to my channel.